Grade 3 Math, number 116, Perpendicular and Parallel. We have been talking about some geometry terms and some things in geometry lately, and now I'm going to talk about perpendicular and parallel. Perpendicular is when lines meet or cross and create right angles. Now, we discussed right angles a couple videos ago. It's when the corner is like the corner, the angle is like a corner of a sheet of paper. So, these two lines are intersecting and creating perpendicular lines, going straight up and down and straight side to side. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that there are four right angles here. See? Not just one, two, three, four right angles. Okay? These two lines are parallel lines. They never meet or cross, ever, ever. They're always the same distance from each other and don't make any angles. They go on like this forever. Now, you could have parallel rays, and you could have parallel line segments. Parallel rays would go like this. Parallel line segments would go like this. And they still wouldn't cross or make angles or touch each other and would stay the same distance apart from each other. So why can't parallel lines ever cross? Because they always are the same distance apart from each other at all times. Now let's look at this shape here. This shape, this quadrilateral, which is a polygon, has two sides that are parallel. This side and this side are parallel to each other. Do you see how they continue to go this way? These are parallel. This side is not parallel with this side because they're going kind of crooked, see? So, whoops, sorry. So the top one and the bottom one are parallel lines. Now it also has this line segment and this line segment that are making a right angle right here. So that means that this line segment and this line segment are perpendicular to each other. So the last thing I want to show you is there's some little symbols in geometry that people use. When you want to say that lines are perpendicular, they make this little shape. It's just a line with a little line coming off the top of it. That's the symbol for perpendicular. When you see two lines together like this, like a sideways equal sign, that is the symbol for parallel. So if you had these two line segments, and this was line segment AB, and this was line segment CD, you could say line AB, and you draw a little line on top of it to say that it's line AB, is parallel to CD. That's how people write it. See that? If you wanted to say they were perpendicular, you would say that AB is perpendicular to CD. And they use these little symbols so that they don't have to write the whole word perpendicular or the whole word parallel. So, that's the difference between perpendicular and parallel. And we'll continue on talking about our things in geometry. And if you're curious and want to know more about geometry, I have an Intro to Geometry folder in the Joanne School videos. You might want to check it out. See you next video.